The New York Times has come out with an article stating that the Asian American vote is up for grabs in 2022. Well, what should Democrats do to keep the Asian vote and what can Republicans do to take the Asian vote? Let's talk about it. Welcome everybody to the Hot Pop Boys. David and Andrew here. We got a hot one for you today. And let me first off, tell you that we are not taking a side left or right blue or red we are just here to break down the game for you david what's going on the different articles have all been dropping in the past week saying that the asian american vote potentially could swing from democrat to republican in 2022 based off two major factors um i think there's more but the articles constantly focus on one crime safety and stability and number two arguments over meritocracy and affirmative action Wow. Quick history. 35 years ago, Asians were voting 60-40 in favor of the Republican Party. Then in the late 90s and early 2000s, it switched. It swung 70-30 in favor of Democrats. And now in 2022, it kind of seems like it could be split. Obviously, there are a lot of cultural, generational, like literal just age differences. Like we said, guys, generational, cultural, situational. We'll just break it down real quick. Generational. Most older Asians tend to more vote Republican, but I would say most Asian Americans that are like 50 or 40 and younger and educated, whether it's with an undergrad or postgraduate degree, vote Democrat. Cultural split means that different Asians from different motherland countries of origin typically have different coaching, whether that's anti-communist narratives. And of course, situational, Andrew. The situation is, for example, in big cities, if you're an Asian that lives in a big city, you have to react to the stimulus around you. So are you reacting to the increased crime? Uh, are you blaming the current leadership or are you blaming something else? Yeah, also part of situational is economics. Are you an entrepreneur? Are you a business owner? Are you wealthy or are you more middle class, lower middle class? Asians, they tend to care about safety and stability. They tend to care about meritocracy and they tend to care about economics. So initially Asians were Republicans because of a lot of anti-communist narratives, both from like Viet's, Koreans, Taiwanese, all anti-communist. Okay. Then it started to shift. Um, I think once be it became like Republicans were kind of like the tea party, maybe like anti-progressive, anti-minority party. I'm not saying that it was, but that was essentially like the, the marketing. That's a perception. Yeah. And now it just feels like Asians are losing faith in the Democratic Party. They're saying, hey, guys, we were Democrats for so long. Now the world's kind of going to crap and we feel like the Dems aren't going to fix this and maybe the Republicans will. Right. It seemed like on the left that Democrats were like, thank you for your service for 20 to 30 years of loyally voting for us. Here what's, here's what we're going to give you guys. Unsafe big urban cities and we're gonna make sure that your kids even if they test really high on test results they can't get into colleges or selective high schools because you guys are just way overrepresented oh sounds like a great deal i'll take it all right you guys i think we've summed up the situation as best as we can succinctly for you guys here's my hot take it's true that the generational differences are always going to be there. The cultural differences are going to be there. Nobody can change those things. However, in my opinion, you know what has changed? The situation. The situation on the ground. I live in a lot of big cities, LA, New York, Seattle. Let me tell you this. I myself am not very happy with the way the leadership in these cities, and it has been democratic, is running these systems. Right. These people who are supposed to be the coach, the puppet master, the system runner, the game maker, the architect, whatever they're doing, I don't like it. It looks like there's just crime on the streets. People are using drugs in public spaces. Nobody's doing anything. And, and I get it. There are arguments on both sides that I, you know, I can weigh out logically. Now, does that automatically mean that if you vote Republican that everything's going to get solved? I don't know. But the feeling is so strong right now that people are willing to do that. Right. It's almost like you went to the store, right? Can you imagine a cheese store having two types of cheese as your options? Hey, welcome to the cheese store. You can either have cheddar cheese or American cheese. And you're like, yo, I wanted Swiss cheese. I wanted guy year. I wanted brie. And people are like, nope, that's the American system. You only got American cheese and cheddar cheese. Those are your two options. Well, a lot of people want other people to solve their own problems. And also, to be honest, a lot of people pick sides just because they want to be part of something you want to be part of america so these are the two main groups in america pick a side that's what you're told when you get here guys my hot take is this that the asian vote is going to be increasingly more and more important 
almost 60 percent of eligible adult Asian voters in America are coming out to vote. That number is only increasing. It right. is so important. And here's right. why it's if you important. you extrapolate that trend, it's headed in a direction. And it's important because the Asians are the wild card. Guys, When in a world so polarized, when people are this and this, guess who has the power? The people that are undecided in the middle that are like shifting back and forth. In the future, people are gonna be catering towards Asians. But just know when it's fake catering and when they're really, really trying to help you. There's a lot of fake catering out there for optics, but there are some things that actually help Asians. And I know it's hard to decipher sometimes. Uh, your parents are getting WeChat news. Maybe you're only getting news from one side or one source, whatever it is. I'm just saying that's the situation moving forward. You're not a fan of both sides, but how does either the Dems or the Republicans try to win the Asian vote moving forward. Since if the Republicans wanted to take the Asian American vote, they probably got to seem like they are less uh, essentially like maybe only pro Anglo. I would say that that is a narrative that they got to address because Tucker Carlson is not addressing that. Drop it. Yeah, he seems like he's like, if you look like me, then you're right and that means you're white okay i'm not saying that that's actually the truth but that is the overwhelming perception i would say on the left sometimes i feel like the left says well asians you guys will be fine regardless of whatever the policies are so no help for you guys yeah the it seems like a lot of asians are fed up with the left sides always playing like identity politics and they're like and asians are just like please just get back to the numbers get back to the business guys right it's uh, a little bit like what ronnie said where it's like asians literally just want things to function yeah here's how you win the asian vote moving forward for at least the next 10 to 15 years in my opinion whichever side is able to convince the asians that they can keep things stable i think that's the side that the asians are going to lean on towards and it just seems like democrats let things get a little unstable and now they're looking at the Republicans to make it stable. And one thing I really don't like is Asian Americans that I feel like grew up or were co-opted by either side trying to get everybody to like shift off their own metrics. Yeah. You know, most Asians, obviously there's a lot of diversity, but they do care a lot about stability because the reason why a lot of people left Asia is because at that time, you know, especially in that era, it was really unstable. You know what I mean? Like all these other issues, I'm not saying they don't matter. You know, you, this identity, that identity, it doesn't, you know, it is valid. But literally nothing will matter if you have an unstable society. By the way, guys, just a little quick piece of advice. I understand that a lot of millennials, Gen Y, Gen Z people, they disagree with their parents' politics. I'm not making excuses for them, but your parents went through a lot. Have a little bit of empathy. If you want to stop talking about them if you want to stop talking to them about politics, I completely understand. But yes, I know a lot of friends who lean one side and their parents lean completely the other side. So it's very interesting right now. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this whole thing. Maybe you are left, you're becoming right. Maybe you are right, you're becoming left. Maybe you're not political. I don't know, but let us know in the comments down below what you think about this whole ordeal and the Asian vote becoming increasingly more important to America. Again, we're not telling you which way to lean. We're just trying to break it down for you. So thank you so much for watching. That is the Hot Pop Boys. Hit that like button, click subscribe, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.